night. So you're probably wondering what is the dealio with this? Well, yes, it is a battle royale game. It does have a lot of resemblances to PUBG. There's no doubt about that. But let's be real, PUBG was not the first battle royale game in the market. And this one certainly does bring some new stuff to the table. And understanding what that new stuff is and how to take advantage of it is the difference between winning and losing. One of the best parts about it is the fact that PS4 players will actually get to play the game. PUBG is going to be only available on PC and soon coming to Xbox. No word yet. Uh, whether or not it's coming to PS4, but guess what? If you are on PC or Xbox or PS4, you are going to be able to play this and download it for free from today. Yes, absolutely, 100% for free. It is available to you. You do not need to have Fortnite, the base game at all. This is just a completely standalone game that you can download right now. So go and do it because there's no cost associated with it. So why not give it a go? I've left a link in the description below that takes you to where you need to get to if you want to get your hands on this. So click on that while you're listening to the rest of this video and let's continue. All right, so what's the deal? Well, the game starts in the pre-lobby. There's nothing to do here other than walk around and jump on tires and shoot other people that does no damage and just act like idiots and then all of a sudden you're into the battle bus which is a bus suspended by a balloon flying over a map and this is where the fun really begins because this is where you need to choose where you need to eject and I guess tip number one is make sure that when you eject you are staying as far away from other players as possible you're gonna fall down to the earth eventually your glider is gonna come out and you're gonna choose where you land you don't want to be landing anywhere near anybody else because it greatly increases the chance that that person is gonna be able to loot a weapon before you clock you in the head and then boom it's game over for you you are back in the queue so tip number Number one, make sure when you land you stay as far away from other people as possible. It's going to make your life a hell of a lot easier. Tip number two, the weapons that you're choosing make a huge difference. Now obviously you can't really choose which weapons you have with you because it's all about random looting. You'll drop on a part of the map and hopefully there's a good weapon nearby. Sometimes there's a crap weapon, sometimes there's no weapon at all. But eventually as you continue to progress through the game you're going to find more and more weapons and then it's about which ones do you stick with. Well my very strong advice to you is to stick with longer range weapons like the sniper rifle and the auto rifle. The shotguns and the SMGs, they're fine, but they don't give you a lot of versatility. A lot of the time, you're going to spend looking far over the distant horizon, hoping that you can shoot a target at range, and a shotgun really doesn't do much in that context. If you're smart and you know how to protect yourself up close with an assault rifle by getting the jump on your opponent, then even a shotgun isn't going to save them. So, as much as possible, try and hold on to those long-range weapons. They really are going to help you out in a very, very big way. Tip number three, and this is especially one for the PUBG fans out there. The weapons in this game are a lot more arcadey than they are in a game like PUBG. The weapon bloom, or that is how much your bullets spray in a random direction as you fire, is pretty damn big, especially when you're using those auto weapons. So, tip number three, make